Eric Burgess here with Music Marketing TV. Today we're going to be looking at how to generate automatic subtitles with little animations for Vegas Pro. So first, it is very useful to have your style saved as a preset for the text before we generate any subtitles because it's going to appear in that list and you want to have that exist before you generate those. So we're going to go to Media Generator, Titles and Text. We'll just drag a text event on. And the only difference I really want from the default is I want it to be yellow. Do not add animations here. There is a different way to do that that is easier to do at the end. So we're going to go to preset. We're going to change it, go all the way down to the bottom and choose subtitles. This is a good starting point. You can alter this however you want. I recommend keeping it this way. It works out pretty good. And I'm going to just change it to yellow. I just want a nice yellow one. That's it. I'm going to give it a new name. We'll call it custom. And I'm going to hit this save button. So it is now saved, ready to rock and roll. OK, we're going to delete this track. We no longer need it. And let's bring in our footage. The footage you bring in should be the final video, more or less. Everything cut. If you can give it a clean dialogue track, uh, that probably is a good idea. So it doesn't have to figure out what's a voice and what isn't. We are going to go up to the tools tab at the very top, we're going to click and go to AI speech to text. A window will appear. Sometimes it takes a second to appear. Just give it a sec. It might be thinking. And we're going to go ahead and go with analyze. It will figure out the language. It's figured out English every time for me. So I've had no issue with the recognition of it. Now, this processing can take a while, and I recommend getting up, stretch your legs, do something. Uh, but you actually don't have to wait for it to complete in order for you to have stuff to work with. Um, and so for the sake of this video, I'm going to hit cancel and you can see it actually stopped a part way through. <laughs> so this is fine for the purposes of a tutorial. Uh, if we come up to the view at the top, I do really quick want to mention there's text based editing and you can like delete text and it will cut your video and stuff. It's crazy. But we're going to go to the subtitles view. That's the one we're interested in. Now, this is kind of a lot of words for a subtitle. So on the side here, underneath title preset, there is a maximum characters per line. We are going to shave this down to 25. That is a much more reasonable amount. And we're going to go to our title preset and choose our custom one. So if you generated this and only now are realizing that you would like to use a different color or something, because it's a total pain to try and do after, you're going to have to close Vegas, make it, and then do it. it the order is significant because it, it just won't see it. It won't appear in this list. So now we're going to go to generate titles, and it's going to make a track with all the titles on there. And I cut it short, which is why there's only some of these titles. Now, if we zoom in, we could see the titles, you know, are there. Now, it's not perfect. There'll be occasional errors, like it loves to call me Eric Purge. And let's go in and fix that right now. So you will need to vet it a little bit, although it is pretty dang good. It's going to save you a lot of work. Let's just go over here randomly and see how it did. You should know out of the get go, it is a bit different if you've worked with a DAW before. SoundForge is about treating each audio file as almost so pretty friggin amazing. Now there's no like pop in effects. That would be kind of cool. So there's a way to do this. It's a little crazy, but it is possible to affect all the clips. Now clips, they don't like copying things from one clip to another. Typically, like keyframe data and stuff like that. I don't know of a way to do that, but you can get effects to go from clip to clip. And what I do is I go in, let's say we want this first one to have a pop in effect. Let's mute the video for now so we can just see the subtitles. And if we go to the effects, we are going to add, I see I have one here called pop. Let's pretend that's not there at the moment. Let's go to Vegas. We're going to go to picture in picture and we're going to select that and hit OK. So now we have this picture in picture and it's basically, you know, like a picture in a picture. You can make it bigger or smaller. So we're going to go to one for this. Now to make it a pop in style effect that's not too crazy, we're going to go and make this 0.95. Actually, because of the way it does this, I might even do something as small as like 0.97. 
and make it just a little bit smaller. And then we can actually keyframe this and it will be saved with the effect. I don't know why you can't do this with the title directly, but it works gorgeously with the effects. So we're gonna go ahead, zoom in, make sure your playhead is on this first one. We're gonna move over a little bit and we're gonna make this a little bit bigger, like one point, um, I don't know, zero, three. So it's a little bit bigger. Ah, maybe it will be a little more like zero seven. And then we're going to go forward a little bit. You can just use your arrow keys because the clicking is a little. Um, it can be a little tricky to work with. And so now if we play this, we'll have this. You get that little pop in effect. Like that, it can be a little jittery based on whatever your previews at, but you know, it's going to look pretty good. So with this set, you could, you know, change them to do whatever you want. You're not going to actually hit save. It's a little weird. You're going to go to add an effect. And in the effect, you can save this as a plugin package. We're going to call it pop two because this is the second pop one I've made. We're going to hit OK, it saves it. Where did it just save it? It saved it to the filter packages. So there's pop two. So we're going to go, OK, this is pretty good. It's going to rescan everything. Oh, I forgot about this. I have a lot of audio plugins, so this takes a little bit. I'll see you in a second. OK, once the scan is done, we are going to go ahead and select this first clip, hit Control C, or you could right click and go to copy. Then we're going to click the next clip, go down to the last one. And then we are going to right click and go to paste event attributes. And they all just got that effect. You see how they all have this effect now? And that means they all marketing TV. And this is the first video on SoundForge. We're going to be looking at the windows of SoundForge. They Sound have they have the animation. It's in there. It's amazing at the windows of SoundForge, what SoundForge even is. It's going to be very brief, um, bringing audio into SoundForge. And that's how you can add subtitles to your videos in Vegas. If you have any questions about this, feel free to let me know down in the comments. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos. And have a blessed day.